So the 2020 housing market was insane. 2021 was even more crazy. And at the moment, it doesn't look like this year, 2022 is gonna calm down too much just yet. If you've been thinking about moving to or buying a house in Cincinnati, Ohio, stick around. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on where I think this Cincinnati housing market is headed in 2022 and give you some tips and strategies to help you get the most out of your buying experience. Let's get into it. What's up guys, it's Vic Fam, Realtor with Keller Williams in the greater Cincinnati, Ohio area. This channel is dedicated to all things about Cincinnati. Money, fun, entertainment, real estate, anything to do with Cincinnati. So if you're interested in learning more about Cincinnati, Ohio, this is the channel for you. If you're thinking about buying or selling a house in Cincinnati, please feel free to reach out to me, shoot me a text, email, give me a call, whatever works best for you. If you don't wanna miss out on new videos about Cincinnati, please consider subscribing. Also, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts about this video. Okay, so in 2020, the market just exploded into a frenzy. Interest rates plummeted to record lows, causing a new wave of buyers who just ate up all the housing inventory. This low inventory created a high demand of houses, which put a lot of pressure on builders to build faster and created a lot of opportunities for house flippers. Then to make matters worse, in 2021, the cost for building materials shot through the roof due to the lack of material, making it much more difficult for builders to keep up with the demand of houses and ultimately making the cost for houses, particularly new constructions and remodels, even higher than they were. And that's one of the biggest factors affecting the housing market in Cincinnati right now, the supply and demand. So let's talk about that for a second. Prices are high because the demand from the buyers is high and the inventory of actual houses is low. Take a look at the inventory as of December 2021 last year. Here is 2021 in the red down here. You can see the inventory has been consistently decreasing, guys. And the pool of buyers doesn't seem to be decreasing with it. So what does that mean? Well, in my opinion, it's simple. Prices are not gonna start decreasing until the inventory of housing starts to increase. And do you know when that's gonna be? I don't know. <laughs> no, no one does. All we can do is just speculate and make educated guesses. Here's the thing, real estate trends happen in cycles and usually those cycles remain a certain way for years. Sometimes it's more balanced, sometimes it favors the buyers, right now it's favoring the sellers. But look, just because it's a seller's market right now, that does not mean it's a bad time to buy a house. It just means you gotta put in a little more effort. Plus guys, regardless of what the naysayers tell you, even with the home prices up right now, buying a house is still more accessible and more affordable than it's probably ever been in history, which is what we should talk about next, interest rates. Now, the interest rates are rising lately. You're not seeing the high 2% and the low 3% like you did back in 2020 when the housing market took off. But even if you're getting in the high 3% or even 4%, that's still drastically better than what the mortgage industry was charging 20 years ago. So if you were buying a house in 2001, you were probably paying over 8% interest and if you were buying a house way back in 1980 i feel really bad for you because you were paying probably around 18 percent interest Damn! and we all know that lenders make their money on the interest that they collect from you over time yes the purchase price does affect you right now but in my opinion it doesn't affect you nearly as much as a super high interest rate over time because all those extra dollars add up and affect your equity down the road so really it's just a matter of perspective. Historically, interest rates are incredibly low right now. So yes, buying a house in 2022 is a good move if you're looking to lock in a good interest rate that's gonna benefit you for many years to come. So how can we navigate all this madness in 2022 and still get the house that you want? Well, between so many houses getting multiple offers, buyers waiving inspections and sellers basically controlling the market right now, it can get very frustrating for buyers. Here's a few tips to help you prepare for the home buying process in Cincinnati in 2022. Number one, get a good team. Firstly, starting off with your realtor. To win the house you want in this market, you gotta have a good, experienced realtor who knows how to write strong and creative offers, how to communicate with the listing agents and lenders, and also how to communicate with you as the buyer. You don't wanna be left in the dark about anything. You also need a great lender who has similar traits. Anytime we make offers, I always personally reach out to the listing agent, then I have my lender reach out to them as well and establish that communication line too. You would be surprised at how simple and powerful basic communication can be. And many, many times we've been able to get our buyers the house they want just by effective communication. So your realtor and lender make up that team that's gonna be able to increase the chances of you getting the house you want. So they gotta be on point, choose them wisely. Number two, get creative with your offer. Guys, I got over 20 different ways that I can modify a purchase contract to make it stronger and more attractive to a seller. 
I save most of those secrets for my exclusive clients who choose to work with me, so I won't tell you everything, but I will share this much. In this market, you have to understand what the seller wants and try to balance that the best you can to what you want as a buyer. And the only way to understand what the seller wants goes back again to communication. Did you pick the right realtor who has the communication skills to find out exactly what the seller wants? Once you know that, come up with a healthy middle ground between the two of you. Because in the end, there has to be some sort of balance. The seller is only gonna go so far and you as the buyer are only gonna go so far. It has to be a win-win in the end. If you got a good realtor, they should have a few tricks up their sleeve to make your offer as competitive and as strong as possible. Number three, you could always consider new construction. Now this might stretch your budget a little further, but new construction homes are something to consider if you're not in the mood to jump out here and compete with too many buyers. The reason being is you can usually lock in the house you want before it's even built, so there's really no one to compete with. The drawbacks are that you might not get as many floor plan options or get to tour the house like you would if you were buying a resale home. Also, the price is generally higher for new constructions and there's always the wait time that's longer than a normal sale. Typically, new constructions are about six to seven months, but the way the inventory and material costs have been affected, it could be much longer, depending on the builder that you choose. So I hope this helps you get a feel for where the market is in Cincinnati and what to expect of the market in 2022. Please subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any new content related to Cincinnati. Whatever route you choose to go, just know you can always reach out to me. I'm always here to help if you're considering buying or selling a home in Cincinnati. You can call me or shoot me a text or an email or send me a message on one of those social media apps. I'm on pretty much all of them. Whatever works for you. Remember, when it comes to houses in Cincinnati, Ohio, you can always call Vic.